and I'm I'm certainly starting to see that in a lot of companies where that that parental leave um, for all caregivers, regardless of gender, is really changing the industry. I think the other thing that's really noticeable, and you you and I have talked previously about, you know, what's what's that experience like of travelling through Perth Airport when all the shifts are going out, and it's it's a lot of blokes and high vis, right? And yep. but but what we're also seeing in West Australia is if, if that leadership is not taken from within the industry, it will be imposed from the outside, as we're seeing with the parliamentary inquiry into sexual harassment in the mining workforce, as we're seeing on issues of climate change, as we're seeing on issues of the relationship with Indigenous peoples, um, that that if the leadership isn't there, it will be imposed or it will be found from the outside. Or, as you said, people just may not join the company in the first place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Sorry. No. Yeah. So I, th I do think just sort of occurred to me as well, you know, it's, it's really hard, hard to shift culture. Um, having worked in large organisations like the CSIRO and others, um, you know, really seeing that there are, there are clumsy and not so good ways to improve company culture. And then there are really good ones. Um, and the really good ones um, actually engage the people who are affected by the poor culture. I mean, everyone is actually affected by poor culture. Even, um, you know, a senior white male is affected by poor company culture. But of course, other people will be more affected, more adversely affected and less able to change it. So, you know, the things I would put in the, uh -uh, the bad basket would be um, just a morning tea, like saying, oh, it's so-and-so day, let's have a morning tea. Yeah. And the people who agree can turn up and have a chat and the people who don't agree can just keep working and ignore it. Um, that, that is not a good way to change company culture. Those, key, those things can be good in a healthy company and they can build morale, but that alone will not change company culture. It's got to be driven by um, you know, self-organizing groups. It's got to be grassroots. It's got to be visibly and consistently supported by both the middle layers of management and the senior execs as well. So it's 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 kind of a ground up process and things like um, pride networks um, for LGBTQI employees or, you know, things like, um, you know, cultural uh, groups which are representative um, of important, um, you know, important aspects of a company's culture. And that that's really going to be something that can help change a company from the ground up. 